Hello and welcome to Your Daily Five. I am Jane Galena, also known as Airplane Jane. And I am available on social media networks, also available by email. You guys can always check out my website. If you ever have any questions at all, please feel free to shoot me an email at jane at cjanetrade.com. So let's get into it. Next week, we have Thanksgiving. That means holiday sh shopping is going to happen. Black Friday sales. Retailers are going to be on the move with their sales. We've had a lot of retailers already reporting their earnings, and it has definitely driven XRT, the S&P retail ETF. So as we look at it here, we can see we've got the four EMA, which is my pink line, and that's roughly at 103. We have this shelf of support right at 102.50. So looking for this to hold 102.50 and continue to grind higher. Part of the reason why XRT continues to move higher is because people love to short it. This is one that people love to short like Tesla. They think, oh my goodness, retailers must be hurting. They have people walking out. They have a hard time finding employees. They have a hard time getting things to sell. So it must go down. However, reality is that the market is irrational. And we can see over the last five days, we have had 63% short volume. This is taken from shortvolumes.com. So short volume is going to be the breakdown of overall volume, short volume from the day's traded volume, and that would give you the percentage of short volume. So this is a little bit more in the moment than short interest, which is, as we know, two weeks old with the brokers reporting to FINRA and then reporting to the public. So I really like to use shortvolumes.com. Looking at it right here, we can see that this has been grinding higher. More and more people are shorting it. And as a result, we've just seen that this has continued to move to the upside. Now we are, this is a weekly chart right here for XRT. We are a little bit extended away. Remember I did say that 102.50 does show support. In fact, roughly 101 as well has buying support right here, that little bit of shelf right there. So looking to see as long as we can stay above 101 for the retailers continuing to move higher. First up that I've been looking at is Etsy, online retail marketplace. Many people are at home. Many people have turned to their creative side and selling things on Etsy. So we did have this report. It surged higher. We have a bit of a pullback. As long as it stays above 275 right here, like this to set up for new highs as well. And on the weekly chart, you can see it is a little extended away from our four EMA average down here at 266, but we do have that 270 area of support. So really looking for that to hold. It has just been grinding higher week over week. After that, we do have Amazon. Amazon was just recently in the news as well saying that they are going to stop taking Visa in the UK. Definitely hurt Visa, but doesn't seem to have hurt Amazon. Amazon does supply so much to the world, but the retail aspect is only one portion of what they do. Their cloud service and web services are majority of their income. So if we can break above this 3580 level, you can see we've had selling wicks on the daily chart here, and it's just been a bit of resistance. If we can get above that, I believe that we're going to see 4,000, potentially 4,200 before the year is over for Amazon. Here we have it on the weekly chart and you can see we have a nice gap setting up right over here. So looking for that to continue to grind higher. If we break that 3,750 level, sky's the limit. We will easily see 4,000 and then on up to that 4,200 level. When we measure the move down here, down to roughly 3250, 500 points. That would put us at roughly 4250. Next up, Dollar Tree, right? Not everyone is shopping at Amazon. A lot of people are shopping at dollar stores, Dollar Tree, Dollar Rama. So here we have Dollar Tree. It surged higher on Monday, and now we're pulling back just a little bit. If we are able to hold 129 here, 
the top of this candle with these equivolume charts. I believe that we're going to see it pull back and then bounce higher to new highs. We are showing a little overbought on the RSI. However, to the upside, I don't use RSI that much because it can continually grind higher like we've seen with XRT with the shorts being stubborn. On our weekly chart for Dollar Tree, we see that we are a bit extended away and we do have a gap to fill here. So being extra cautious that if we do break down below that 129, I would use that as my stop and my support for getting out. But we could easily be showing a breakaway gap on this weekly chart as long as we see a little bit of consolidation, regain steam, and move to the upside. This is where I'm going to be going to get all of my kids Christmas presents, Bath and Body Works. So they are actually reporting this afternoon. I do like the setup. So looking to see after today. I don't like to hold into earnings, but trade it after earnings. So planning this trade after earnings, I would say as long as we can stay above 74 over here or above 76, particularly above 77.50 right here, I would like it to continue to the long side, or if we break down, I would look for 7250, <clears throat> excuse me, or even lower if it breaks down here roughly to 71 to this support shelf volume level. Here we have it on that weekly chart. You can see we are up at resistance. We haven't had too much volume going into earnings over the past two weeks. We do have a doji, so if it does reverse, again, look maybe for a pull back down to that 70 level on the weekly chart. Thank you guys so much for joining me for your daily five. I do follow the dark pools, and if you want to learn more about trading around the dark pools, please come and check it out at the training pit at thedarkpools.com. Thank you for joining me. That's your daily five. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.